5.30. Welcome back. Right now, the national unemployment rate is at its lowest since 1969, but unemployment among those with disabilities is still extremely high. It can be daunting for parents who have children living with autism, but one local group is helping them join the workforce. James Gilbert explains. Many parts of life have been difficult for Jake Collier. Right now we're working on doing some buffing over there. But a new opportunity has come cruising in. He's going to teach me how to change some tires. I'm really excited about that. That excitement started with a new program from Autism Up, teaching job skills hand in hand with businesses like Vision Buick GMC. What we want to do is create an environment where we can do uh, career vocation and also pair it with uh, volunteering. This shop here is one of the few businesses in the area to help these folks become a part of the future workforce. And now I get it, the, the rotors. Organizers hope this new program reveals an untapped resource to businesses. And they're really hard workers, very focused, determined, and, and a lot of them are really passionate. They really want to prove themselves in, in, uh, in the workforce. Employers don't realize what these individuals are actually capable of. For employers, it reduces the stigma, makes the public aware, and brings joy. It just makes everybody smile to see people willing to help other people. And while many parts of life have been difficult for Jake, working with these parts might steer him in the right direction. Here I am giving something new a try and enjoying it. James Gilbert, News 8. This event is in its second year. They do plan on reaching out to more companies that can help involve a new population and get them into the Rochester workforce.